So we'll move the gentleman from Pennsylvania for any questions you might have for our witnesses. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate it. You know, with this topic, there's a lot of confusion over who said what. So I think it's important just to go over the timeline and exact quotes. Uh, in January 2023, the Consumer Product Safety Commissioner, Trumka, stated the commission would look at regulations to ban gas stoves in American homes. That's January 2023. After, a ma after major public outrage at that announcement, the media then went on this gaslighting campaign with articles from the USA Today, the New York Times, Washington Post, and the LA Times saying that there was no validity to claiming the administration wanted to ban gas stoves. Again, in January 2023, 20, uh, this January, Trump st st stated that he wanted to look at banning gas stoves. Then President Biden's press secretary said, and I quote, the president does not support banning gas stoves. Okay. Uh, January 23rd, Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm, when asked about banning gas stoves, stated, and I quote, that is so ridiculous, that story, because it sounds like the government's coming in to take your stuff. That is so not true, end quote. Then in February, just seven days later, February 1st, the Department of Energy proposed a new rule that would effectively ban half of the gas stoves currently on the market. Last month, New York became the first state to ban gas-powered stoves, furnaces, and propane heating in new residential construction starting in 2026. And then more than 100 U.S. cities and localities have moved in the meantime to restrict gas-powered appliances, including 75 cities in California alone. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to enter in the record a series of articles chronicling the banning of um, gas stoves. First is a CNN article, New York becomes the first state to ban natural gas stoves and furnaces in most new buildings. That's from May 3rd, 2023. Without objection. I'd ask unanimous consent to enter in the record another article from the Washington Times entitled, Energy Secretary Defends Biden Administration's Gas Stove Regulation Vows Nobody will take your gas stoves, uh, May 11, 2023. Without objection. Um, I'd also like to point out that in that article, it says the Energy Department is proposing new efficiency rules for gas stoves. About half current models of the market would likely be unable to comply with. Uh, I'd ask unanimous consent to enter another Washington Examiner article. This is gas stove bans. Here's where the initiatives stand across the U.S., uh, that's from May 3rd, 2023. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to ask unanimous consent to enter another article. This was from Forbes. It's entitled, Biden officials just can't take their hands off your gas stoves. That's from February 3rd, 2023. Without objection. So with that being said, uh, Representative Duncan, Given all the facts mentioned, all the gaslighting we've seen from the Democratic Party and from the media on this, would you like to talk about where the regulation stands and where the push to ban gas stoves stands? Well, the department's been clear. They have proposed a regulation, and uh, the ranking member just said upon enactment of this new regulation and went through a whole litany of timelines and when uh, those appliances would not be available. So it, it either is or it isn't an, an attempt by the administration to ultimately ban gas stoves. One, one thing that needs to be noted is this is not just household appliances. About 60% of restaurants across the nation prepare the meals that we enjoy in the restaurants on gas-fired stoves. They, re, they do it because it's efficient. No business is going to run a natural gas-fired stove if it's more costly than having an electric stove. They do it for the efficiency of cooking and for the cost savings that it provides our bottom line and the restaurants. Americans want to have choices in their consumer appliances, what they use in their homes. And this bill just says, don't put the government between my gas stove and me. Thank you. I just want to point out that uh, the de facto ban on gas stoving, uh, gas cooking appliances would cause Americans to spend an extra 23 hours a year waiting for water to boil. Not to mention that natural gas is three times less expensive than other energy sources. But... Uh, Representative uh, Duncan, the Biden administration and my friends across the aisle have touted a half-baked study claiming that 13% of all child asthma cases are caused by gas stoves. Do you know of any reputable studies that have shown this link? I do not. Would you like to talk about the half-baked study they're citing? 
Well, I haven't seen the studies. I don't really want to talk about something I haven't, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not privy to. But I will say that the talk about efficiency and, and, um, and cost savings for Americans, let me just point out what I said earlier, that the proposed standard would only save Americans a dollar and eight cent over the life of the appliance. Now, that dollar eight comes from averaging the dollar 51 average annual savings for gas and the 0.79 annual savings for electric weighted by the market segments identified by the DOE's own analysis, electric versus gas. So the savings aren't there. And if you look at why the Department of Energy even is, was empowered to propose these type regulations, it was about efficiency and it was about savings for Americans. And it clearly shows there are no efficiency uh, deficiencies and there's no major cost savings for Americans with this regulation. We'll go back to cost savings in just a second, but going back to that study, it's my understanding that, and excuse me for um, asking about it, I didn't know that, um, uh, I didn't know you hadn't read it, but that there was no control, there, there was basically no control study on it, meaning that um, other studies have found that, that what's, that the air quality degradation is actually from the cooking oil in a pan. It doesn't matter if that's on a gas stove or an electric stove. Um, further, the Federal Interagency Committee on Indoor Air Quality has never identified gas cooking stove as contributing to asthma or respiratory illness. Additionally, the Consumer Product Safety Commission and Environmental Protection Agency have never identified gas stoves as a significant contributor to adverse air quality or as a health hazard. So from my understanding, this is where the science is, despite the, um, the half-baked study my friends keep referring to. Uh, Representative Duncan, is it true that gas saves the average American family over $1,000 a year? Um, uh, there's no doubt about that. Thank you. I appreciate it. You'll back. Thank you very much. The gentlelady from Pennsylvania is recognized for whatever question she may have for the panel. Thank you so much. I, 